Did you know some of the most popular songs were initially jokes? It's a surprising fact, isn't it? Music has always been a form of expression, a medium through which artists share their deepest emotions, thoughts, and sometimes their humor. In the vast universe of melodies and harmonies, there's a peculiar corner that's often overlooked. This corner is filled with songs that have become cultural staples, songs that you've probably hummed along to, danced to, or even belted out at the top of your lungs. What's amusing is that these songs, which have resonated with millions, were initially created as jokes or parodies. They were born from moments of levity and playful creativity, a testament to the unexpected ways in which art can evolve and influence. So buckle up as we're about to embark on a musical journey, a journey filled with laughter, surprises, and tunes that you'll never listen to the same way again. Let's dive into the countdown of these unexpectedly humorous origins, starting from the least to the most surprising. Have you ever hummed along to Frank Sinatra's theme from New York, New York? This iconic song, now inseparable from the image of the bustling Big Apple, started off on a lighter note. Believe it or not, it was originally intended as a playful jab at New York City's hard-nosed reputation. Sinatra used his velvety voice to weave a tale of ambition and grit, all with a wink and a nudge. Over time, the song's satirical edge softened, transforming into a heartfelt tribute to the city that never sleeps. Who would have thought a joke about New York would become its unofficial anthem? Remember the 80s hit Hip To Be Square by Huey Lewis and the News? Now, here's a fun fact. This upbeat tune was initially a tongue-in-cheek take on the growing popularity of being square, a term used to describe the trend of embracing conventional mainstream values. In a cheeky twist of irony, Huey Lewis and his band crafted a song that seemed to celebrate this trend, but was actually poking fun at it. And the ultimate punchline, Hip To Be Square, became a defining anthem for the very culture it was satirizing. Ironically, the song became a defining anthem for the very culture it was poking fun at. Think classical music is all serious? Think again. Let's dive into the whimsical tales behind two iconic compositions. First up, we have Edvard Grieg's In the Hall of the Mountain King. Grieg composed this piece for a lighthearted scene in Henrik Ibsen's play Peer Gint. The music accompanies Pierre's chaotic encounter with trolls, a scenario far removed from the solemnity usually associated with classical music. Next on our list is Luigi Denza's Funiculi Funicula. This catchy tune was initially a musical tribute to the first funicular railway on Mount Vesuvius. It was meant to be a jovial, celebratory piece rather than a serious composition. Yet, both these pieces have transcended their humorous beginnings to become some of the most recognizable tunes in the realm of classical music. It just goes to show, the classical world isn't all starched collars and stern faces. It can be playful and sometimes even downright silly. Even in the world of classical music, a little humor goes a long way. As we've seen, humor has a way of sneaking into even the most unexpected places. Just think about it. The grandeur of Sinatra's theme from New York, New York was born from a playful jest. The iconic Hip To Be Square by Huey Lewis and the News, a chart-topping hit, was ironically a tongue-in-cheek take on the conformity of the 80s. And who would have thought that classical pieces like In the Hall of the Mountain King by Edvard Grieg and Funiculi Funicula by Luigi Denza had their origins in humor too? It's a testament to the power of laughter and wit and how they can transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. These songs, initially conceived as jokes, managed to strike a chord with audiences around the globe, proving that sometimes a good laugh can turn into a timeless melody. So, dear music lovers, let's not forget the fun and humor that can be found in the most unexpected corners of our beloved tunes. Next time you listen to these songs, remember their origins and maybe, just maybe, you'll hear them in a whole new light.